Good morning, Dance Privateer FX. Coming at you, 8th of March, non farm payroll stay. Let's have a quick look of what happened yesterday. It was a very important day, seminal day. Um, start with this equity chart here. We chopped through this 200 uh, day moving average. We officially closed at. Uh, 2749 down 22 and a half points. Dow was down 200. NASDAQ was off 85. Um, this was interesting because we had a very dovish uh, ECB. So, of course, originally asset prices moved higher as the LTRO news came out. Uh, another form of sort of quantitative easing. But. This is um, this was just treated as more bad news. Europe is sick; they need more more drugs. And eventually, the equities turned, and, and here we are. You want to remain core short? You can sell high ones today um, into that 70 area. So between 60 and 70, you can sell. Uh, you want to remain core short S and P's. This is now. Uh, I would say officially the turn here, so uh, we see further downside going forward. Let's go to Euro. We were at 113.05 uh, when the LTRO news came out, and um, that was um, it was pretty straightforward, right? We, we talked about it. The surprise would be at the 145 announcement if there are LTROs. Uh, we sold 95s, we sold again at 75. We took a fair bit back at 50, um, which now in hindsight looks pretty stupid, but uh, core short is still the way. I mean, we ended up squaring up pretty much everything uh, in the tactical book at 20. Did not expect us to trade all the way down to 85, but there, there you go. It always goes farther than you think, and I guess I was maybe a little PL hungry. So, uh, voila, here we are. Uh, that's in the past now, going forward. Looks like we just have to sell this on a rally, obviously. Um, if you look at this trend line here, this is the death knock of this will be 37. So, anywhere between sort of 17 and 37 is a good sell point today. Of course, uh, you got to keep it relatively light for non farms. I don't expect uh, much craziness on the release of the number. You know, uh, we're kind of. This is going to be, I think, just your sort of standard 180 number. Even if it's one, t even if it's 120 or it's 250, the volatility on non-farms has been reduced uh, in the last sort of six or seven months. So we're we're going to look to just fade this, even if it happens in Europe. We want to be core short again tactically uh, today in the day book and medium term. Now this is a range break. This should go down to 110, 110 or 109. So, pretty straightforward. You want to be short euros. Dollar Swiss, as we talked about yesterday, I think I said my intuition tells me this is going to go higher. Uh, voila, 101.18 the high. Um, 101.37 was the high in November. So this is your next sort of line in the sand. No reason that we don't catch up and get that today. If you'd like to play dollar Swiss instead of Euro, you want to pick this up between sort of 95 and 75 today. Dollar Czar smashed through this 37 level. Um, there's some news about privatizing the central bank and all this sort of tomfoolery. Uh, but in general, with euro going lower and the big dollar getting stronger, combined with risk off, of course, uh, czar is going to get smashed. Um, this is just the same trade with a different pair. So 
this is the same trade as short euros, the same trade as long dollar Swiss. Uh, it may have a little bit of extra juice in it, but it's also going to be a little bit more volatile. So pick your poison. Um, dollars are through, so you want to you want to try and pick this up between 40 and 45 today. Finally, dollar yen turned on this China news overnight. The uh, trade news was bad. We're back down through this 200-day. Um, this is going to be a tricky one because if uh, if we come in at 180 and bonds sort of pop up a little bit, this one's tricky. Uh, but it's sort of finally caught up with the risk-off uh, safe haven trade that we're all used to, uh, yen being sort of safe haven currency. We're not trading dollar yen. Um, I really don't know what to do with it. I mean, technically, I guess you want to you want to sell this back into the the 200-day, but with the dollar bid elsewhere, this is a bit tricky. Obviously, with the euro getting crushed and dollar yen getting crushed, euro yen smashed. These are very interesting lows, 124.20. Um, we'd like to see a print there. Uh, print and bounce, then this becomes an old-fashioned break trade. Uh, a little bit late to this party here, so we're, we're focusing more on Euro-Dollar um, on our side, but keep an eye on this. These range lows are interesting. What are these lows here, to be exact? 124.22. Finally, Aussie uh, just dribbling lower as we talked about. This is again just a sell on rally. This is good risk off. China, bad China, uh, strong dollar. It's all in there. Uh, as we talked about, all of the straddle guys are hedging down here at 70 cents. So uh, this might be the trade that accelerates next week uh, just because there's going to be a confluence of of option strategies sort of trying to trying to stay above water uh, down here but through 70 cents convincingly it could could run a bit but in general it's just a, a gentle core short uh, worked out pretty well for us this week finally Boone's um, Again, this is a new contract. This is not a gap. If you don't know how to trade boons, just turn the video off. Um, but this is interesting in a sense just because it's beginning to not pass the grandmother sniff test here. Uh, 6.7 basis points uh, for a 10-year contract in Europe. This doesn't make uh, any sense to us. So we've put a medium-term medium -term structure on the break even is uh, minus 20 basis points in yield. Uh, so we're, we're underwater if this thing goes below minus 20 basis points. Uh, we do think this is going to turn. It's going to take some time. Uh, I do not recommend people who normally trade FX to try any of this. This is just sort of heads up for those of you who have more experience and, and do trade a little bit of fixed income. Boons are getting stretched, uh, and so we entered into this sort of medium to long term uh, position yesterday for the for the sort of long term book. All right, that's I've said enough. Good luck today. Obviously, non farms uh, should be quiet this morning. We got seven and a half hours uh, until we till the circus begins. Good luck out there, and make some dough, people. Ciao.